Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revival Tournaments. This is Gold Mason. I am joined once again by my good friend Mad Dog. Back to back. G'day. How's it going? Maybe back to back? I don't know. Yeah, back to back. But we're back with some SPL commentary. It is the Circus Maximus Tigers, not M Dragon, it's Gary Oak. And the Classy Fellows, not Behe, but Michael Derbesta. Um, the Tigers have secured their spot in SPL finals, or sorry, playoffs. And uh, the Classy Fellows are unfortunately not in the contention for making playoffs in SPL. So both teams uh, double subbed and allowed Gary and Michael to have a game um, in ADV. And we're going to jump right into that game. Um, Gary, I with... haven't watched this one, but I feel like it might live up to the circus part of the circus maximus tigers <laughs> based on some other games i've seen uh out of these two absolutely and uh gary actually has probably one of the coolest custom avatars just just throwing that one out there i'm a big zassian fan yeah that was a upl Ugh. catches Ooh. the scum with the five last turn one big moves I was about to say, gonna click Dragon Claw next? Yeah. Whoa. Starmie's gonna uh, recover here, yeah. Hurts a interesting switch. Yeah, because it's Death Me from the Dragon Claw damage. Yeah, I don't think Mike was a mainer, so. Might make sense of it. Or just a really Starmie weak team. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you're resorting to this this early, it's. Uh, <laughs> bit dire needs there's the crit gets the crit but needs, needs another two. one <laughs> doesn't okay, even so go for it car. getting the sand up is really good for that though it is so tar misses the fire blast does suck definitely does suck Cause that probably with the Swedef drop would have, yeah, two hit KO'd. Yep. Instead, Tar goes down. Sacks it. I think we're just gonna see Starmie come in, or well, Blissey this time. Didn't want to risk the hard HP grass, I guess. Guess so. Goes if uh, Michael has a Skarmory, that need that needs to come out very soon. <laughs> yeah, this is like a mixed offense sort of team. Entirely possible. Yeah, here's a Gengar. But if there's a Gengar, there's got to be some spikes, right? Get that Skarmory out of there. It's giving off uh, Fari vibes, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> with Sutar, Sutar, Gengar, yep, mixed mints. Sutar, mixed mints, spikes with Fori. Yeah. I think we're gonna see Blissey come in here. Oh, never mind. Got the pair I was fishing for. Yeah, Scar lost the uh, Drachi lost. Big burn on it for sure. Yeah, that was a really well-timed burn. There's the Skarmory we've been waiting for. Jesus. Posing Skarm's gonna get a huge wish. So we're gonna see a bunch of spikes. Or not. <laughs> I guess spin versus no spin. You wanna try and pressure the Skarm a bit more? Mm -hmm. I do, I do like the Will O' Wisp and the Skarmory. I mean, it's it's really important, or likely will be at least. Very standard uh, Hariyama balance from Gary, and um, I think we're gonna see last from Michael like a Celebi or an Electric, uh... maybe like a Zapdos. Yeah, I think I think you're on the money. I think mean, it could be error. 
Maybe, but with Gengar and Mixments, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Skarmory with Toxic is going to pressure this Starmie out. Was the Starmie not Thunder Wave? What's the... I wonder what the fourth is on it. It is Maybe Thunder like, Wave. I don't know, it is Thunder Wave. You just didn't want to power the Skarm for some reason. I guess trading per like this into Blissey is fine, but if we stop clicking Ice Beam only... <laughs> Yeah, the purse not really that necessary for anything else. But I can I can get it. Don't think staying in on the Skarm was the right play though. At least now you limit. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard for the Skarm to get another spark up, which could be depends on last, but it could be big. Yeah. And there's the Thunder Here's Wave. The thunder wave. <laughs> Missed the Toxic. Oh. Switch to Gengar is fine, but doesn't really pressure the Starmie meaningfully. It's going to get pressured itself. We're going to see Gengar going down, and then the last Pokemon has to threaten the Starmie. Or we're gonna. Oh, Salomon's coming in to threaten it instead. Seems like this is gonna be a rough one for Michael to win. I don't agree with switching Starmie out there. It's only at 37%. Could get it back. Um, as a wish. His wish, and honestly, not threatened by. Well, actually, threatened by all of the remaining Pokemon. This was Drill Peck Skarm, right? No, not revealed yet. Seems to be just a slow playing it, choking him out. Um, Hariyama notably will like come in at some point and just knock off something important you know do some damage like a knockoff on salamence is game ending oh yeah um, yeah gary just has to be careful not to let everything get too low for whatever this last is starmy is gonna have a really tough time coming in 25 percent from the spikes now Oh, and the Hariyama's also at 35%. That's one of the big, another big reason it's not come in yet. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, chips spread around. Feels a little mismanaged from Gary. I understand taking it slow, but uh, important pieces are being allowed to uh, get really low instead of uh, playing it even slower, keeping them, keeping those pieces less chipped. Full para means Skarm's dead, which should help a lot. I really like this men's double. Yeah, that was clever. Let's keep the tempo going. It guarantees Hariyama's gone. Gonna Just... trade for the wave no just spins just for the spin yeah interesting it's... it makes sense blissey blissey's threatening a lot more than starmie is yeah here's the jirachi so this could be trouble if this is sub cm with ice punch ah interesting the old uh save the <laughs> jirachi till the end yeah 
only slightly less egregious than saving a Skarmory for the end, I think. <laughs> yeah. I think you could you can see Michael has he's obviously a very good Pokemon player, we all know that. Um for well, those of us who don't just only follow ADV. But yeah, you can see his uh inexperience with the tier. Absolutely. Um there is a mix up here. Um Blissey has to switch. You could either toxic on the oh well, or you get full part Big and don't get to do power. anything. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, the mix-up between clicking Toxic into the Flygon, or, um... Or, you know, Fire Punch into the Jirachi. Para is actually... I was worried that... that I was worried that Swampert wasn't going to outspeed the... <laughs> the Blissey. Oh. Um... This wow. might be... Closer than it probably needed to be yeah yeah i was just thinking the same thing blissey comes in i'm here. assuming it's defensive flygon so jirachi might be able to live with a wish just depends on the power turns and even if it comes in on a on a fire punch if it gets burned then it really just gets walled yeah interesting yeah this is suddenly looking winnable? What a random switch, but it lived. It lived? <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. What? I don't understand why I didn't just stay in. Maybe you're scared of sub. If it was sub Flygon, then yeah, I did just win there. I think it won anyway, though. I, I would have just gone for the Toxic with the Jirachi. Jirachi. You have the Wish coming down. Jirachi dying actually is really bad because you toxic, you stall the Blissey, and then you toxic the Flygon as it comes in. Yeah, exactly. This is very suddenly winnable for Michael, as long as he doesn't keep full powering. Yeah, the the power on the Jirachi definitely uh, keeps Gary <laughs> three and the that's big three in a row. Yes, yeah, so it's only 50. 50. <laughs> Drachi's gonna safely out heal that. Again, full paras just kind of end this, but. Oh, there it is. And then Pert's gonna get Toxic Stalled stole. out. Yep. Last move, uh, refresh wins <laughs> not a bad set when i was very new to adv i actually uh i did <laughs> run a set or actually it was basically this six but with a raikou in the last slot instead of jirachi and um, oh, yeah. and it was this set with refresh at the, as the last move <laughs> But Gary takes it down. Uh, again, a little bit closer than it ever needed to be, but um, still a solid win. And again, it's not very serious. Um, the Tigers did secure their way in, and the classy fellows uh, are knocked out. But anyways... Yeah. It's a fun one. It was a fun one. It was a fun one to watch. Twists and turns. That's, that's the name of the game in ADV. That's it. Well, thank you for joining me, as always, Mad Dog. And, uh, yeah. No worries. See you, everyone. Yep. We will see you next time on more ADV Revival content.